What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. Today we are kicking off a full week dedicated to the secondary weapons of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We've got a couple first look camos coming out. We've got some opinions and some ideas on some things. We're going to be talking about some attachments and all sorts of things concerning the secondary weapons. In this gameplay you may be noticing that I'm not actually using a secondary weapon. I am using the Weevil and I was originally just going to talk about the bayonet attachment in this game but I decided to change it up and talk about the tactical knife because after the fact of getting this gameplay, I thought like, hey, there's no bayonet, but there's no tactical knife either, which is kind of strange. And I elected not to go ahead and try and get another gameplay like this because this gameplay was extremely, extremely hard to get. I am going to die a lot. This is probably going to be one of the most ridiculous gameplays you've ever seen in your time on YouTube, like ever. Because I'm running around with the Weevil, doing nothing but gun-butting people. I'm just running around, smacking people with my gun. Because I'm trying to prove a point here. I'm trying to prove a point that we need a bayonet or a tactical knife attachment for weapons in this game. Now, I know that an SMG wouldn't be a weapon that would get a bayonet attachment. But I needed something to help me out because it's just so hard to run around and gun butt people that I needed a weapon that I could actually have a little bit more speed with. So I chose an SMG over an assault rifle because with an assault rifle, you actually run slower. So that's just why I'm using the Weevil. That aside, I'm proving a point in this gameplay that we need a bayonet or tactical knife attachment. Preferably a bayonet and tactical knife attachment. The tactical knife, I'm a bit more surprised that never that it never came out, that it didn't come with a game, that it didn't come in any kind of DLC or anything. But the bayonet, I was definitely hoping that we were gonna get it in some DLC. And there was actually a couple of times when I thought we were definitely going to get it. And we actually have got a bayonet attachment, but it's just not in the right way. So in this video, we're just gonna talk a little bit about that. And we're gonna talk about the bayonet and we're gonna talk about the history of the bayonet and stuff in Call of Duty games. And then we're gonna talk about why I think we need it in this game so the gameplay is pretty poor because it takes two butts to kill somebody with a weapon with fists it takes two fists no matter what with a knife you can kill them in one knife no matter what with a gun butt it's two gun butts to the front to the side if you hit somebody in the back it'll only take one gun butt but the gun butt does do quite a bit of damage it does a lot of damage if you can hit somebody with the gun butt pretty much any bullet at any range will kill them after that so if you like hit them with one bullet and then hit the the melee button really quick you might have a chance but if you're just just going straight for the melee you're not going to be able to do that there's no more panic meleeing with weapons in this game now that could be a good thing i know that a lot of people like that i know that everybody's like yeah nobody can panic melee me anymore i can run up with shotguns and just blast the shit out of people and i can uh, just spray and pray and get the kill instead but I think it's a huge, huge problem because it's just, it's such a natural instinct to go right for the melee in a Call of Duty game. That's just something that we've all gotten used to over the time playing Call of Duty. And it's not unrealistic either. If, I mean, before when you would drop your weapon, take out the knife, swipe the knife, drop the knife, pick up the gun really quick, like within a second before, that didn't make a lot of sense. I do like how they finally added the animation of the gun bot where you actually hit somebody with your weapon. But if we think about this in real life, even with these soldiers cybernetically augmented or whatever the hell you want to call them, they're basically robots. But even though they are basically robots, getting smacked by another robot in the face with their gun would hurt a lot. Like if you get pistol whipped in real life like just a pistol like a little tiny handgun like with the rk5 if somebody pistol whips you at point blank range and, and they have obviously they don't have robotic arms or anything to make it super powerful but gee even just a regular pistol whip in real life will knock you out like cold that shit will hurt in this game it's just like oh ah, and then you can shoot them back and kill them like in a second it's just like oh well wow, wow that didn't even hurt like oh what were you doing like scratching my face for me oh thank you I, I i you needed you to wipe the sweat off my face for me that's basically all you're doing in this game the gun butt is pathetically useless and um and that's basically how i feel about that so we need a bayonet or a tactical knife attachment obviously the bayonet and tactical knife would only be on certain weapons and i think that they could definitely balance that out i mean we've had a tactical knife in pretty much every call of duty game on the pistols it just makes sense that if you're holding a pistol in one hand you can hold a knife in the other it just makes sense that way like you can just 
run around and put use that arm to steady yourself and then stab people if they get too close it just it makes perfect sense i don't know why that's not a thing on another note there should be a tactical flashlight just so like the same kind of style that we've seen tactical knives in the past you should be able to hold up a flashlight and blind people that would be pretty cool too but we're talking about the tactical knife here let's get back on track the tactical knife would be such a practical attachment because even with pistols you have to pistol whip people in this game you can't just knife them right away and in another video this week, we'll be talking about underkill, where we talk about two different secondary weapons being used at the same time, which you can't do in this game. So you can't even put away a pistol. Like, say you're running just a pistol. You can't put away a pistol and take out a knife to stab somebody. If you put away your pistol, all you have is your fists. And that's less than that's less useful than using the gun butt in this game, is using your fists. So it's just completely ridiculous. We're going to talk about underkill in a little bit uh, in a video later this week. But what we're talking about right now is tactical knife. Again, let's get back on track here. The tactical knife is just such a practical attachment with pistols because nobody really uses pistols and attachments are extremely limited on pistols. It just makes sense that we should get a tactical knife for the pistols in this game. We've had it in lots of previous games. Why didn't they put it in this game? On top of that, there's no bayonet in this game, and that's very strange. Um, we are going to talk about the other bayonet, the actual bayonet that came out on the NX Shadow Clown a bit, but I'm just talking about bayonets on regular weapons. When this game first came out, and I heard about this two-tap melee kill thing where you had to hit people twice, I, I kind of liked it. I was like, yeah, that sounds cool, but I'm like, there's definitely going to be a bayonet attachment. It just makes sense. Previous bayonets in the Call of Duty series have made you melee faster. I thought... Well, if you can't kill in one melee, they're definitely going to include an attachment option where you can put a bayonet on your assault rifle or sniper rifle, because those are the two weapons that would make sense to put a bayonet on, that you can actually kill in one hit. I thought that would be just the most practical thing in like the whole universe. People have been putting bayonets on guns in real life since like... I don't even know when, since like before, like the War of 1812, like they had bayonets on their muskets. Like it just makes sense to put a bayonet on the end of your gun. Like why wouldn't you have a knife on the end of your gun in case somebody gets too close? It's just so practical. Like sure, SMGs and stuff, they're a bit short. They can't really have a knife put on them somewhere. But with an assault rifle or a sniper rifle, something that has a long barrel, it's very easy just to even strap some duct tape around there and just duct tape a knife on. It's super easy. You can build a bayonet in your backyard and it's just super practical like why can't we just do that in this game why can't we have a bayonet attachment so let's talk about this actual bayonet attachment that came out that got me super hyped and now i'm actually extremely pissed off because of this so when the first weapon the first dlc weapon started coming out i was i heard of this new bayonet attachment there's a lot of big youtubers out there that get wind of this stuff magically i don't know how somebody in activision or treyarch leaks it to them or something that they get to they get to talk about this shit before anybody else in the whole world knows about it so these big youtubers come out and they start talking about this stuff like oh yeah this stuff's going to be coming out like next week and i know a whole about it this is every single thing that's going to be coming out anyways the big YouTubers started talking about these new weapons, and there was, oh, there's all these new melee variants, there's the Iron Gym, there's the Fury's Song, then they said, there's the NX Shadow Claw, and it's a crossbow, yippee, the crossbow's coming back, who cares, we're gonna get a shotgun pistol, we're gonna get a semi-automatic MX Garand, and I'm like, okay, that that's all cool, and whatever, I'm like, but where's my bayonet attachment, I've been waiting for this shit since the game came out, I've been hoping that this, that this was going to get released, eventually and then i actually heard something about it and the big youtubers of course being wrong as as they were were all about oh yeah there's gonna be this bayonet attachment that you can put on any of your guns and everybody was talking about it and it was super exciting and everyone's like oh my god there's gonna be a bayonet ah. and then it turns out that the bayonet is only available on the nx shadow claw the nx shadow claw are you freaking kidding me one of the most overpowered guns in the entire game one of the best guns oh that's blocked behind supply drops let me let me tell you one of the best guns that's blocked behind supply drops is the only gun in the entire game that gets a bayonet attachment are you fucking kidding me 
Are you fucking kidding me? Why does the NX Shadow Claw need a bayonet attachment when it kills you in one hit from across the map? If you're at point blank range, why don't you just shoot a crossbow bolt into them? That makes a lot more sense. It's probably even quicker than using the bayonet attachment. So why the hell does it need a bayonet attachment more than a sniper rifle or an assault rifle? It just doesn't make sense to me. It really, really pissed me off. Obviously, you can tell that I'm pissed off about this. I think it's just ridiculous that you, the NX Shadow Claw is like the number one gun in the game that does not need a bayonet or tactical knife, and it's the gun that got it. So just doesn't make sense to me. I'm really kind of ticked that that happened. I really hope that they bring out a bayonet attachment or a tactical knife attachment for other weapons in this game. Like I said, it would only be able to go on assault rifles, maybe even some assault rifles. Uh, some assault rifles might not be able to put a bayonet on them. Sniper rifles would definitely be able to use a bayonet, and that would just be like the most practical thing ever. Like, Hello, it's a sniper rifle. You can't even use it at close range unless you're a god tier quick scoper. You definitely need a bayonet, and that would just make it super easy. It would make it make sniping uh, much more balanced in this game at closer ranges because there's no more auto aim for less less powerful quick scopers. So it would just make it uh, sniping a lot better. Tactical knives for pistols is just super practical. Again, why is there no tactical knives for pistols? I'm not sure, like, we've seen all of these different attachments in COD history, we've seen tactical knives, we've seen bayonets in Call of Duty World at War, I thought that the bayonet would at least come out on the MX Garand, like, the MX Garand, like, the M1 Garand in, like, Call of Duty 3 had, like, a, a permanent bayonet attachment on it, like, it came with a bayonet attachment on it in Call of Duty 3 campaign, like, these weapons, like especially like these old World War II type futuristic World War II weapons, should especially have a bayonet attachment on them because that is what World War II weapons actually had on them. Like in World War II, when people were using the M1 Garand, they had the friggin' bayonet attachment on there. They're not a bunch of idiots. They're not going to run around and try and smack people with their gun. They're going to put a knife on the end of it and stab people instead. So that's basically it for my rant on the on the bayonet and tactical knife attachments if you agreed with anything you heard here smash that like button comment down below what you think about the existence of a bayonet and tactical knife attachments do, uh, and attachment do you think they could work in this game do you think that we'll see them in the future i'm personally hoping that we're going to get them in a, in a future dlc or in a future uh just drop of random weapons and stuff of course they can't hide them behind supply drops because that would just be 100 percent bullshit but I hope that they figure out some way to put a bayonet attachment into this game. It's something that the game has been needing to refresh itself right from the very beginning. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys are too. Hope you're looking forward to a full week of videos dedicated to the secondary weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.